we did a great job. We put it over here. Not much of a celebration, uh, we came back very late, um, just uh, had a, a late, late dinner and um, had, a, had a little chat with the team, listened to some music and uh, started packing, you know, and uh, went to bed, um, called my family, tried to share, you know, um, the adrenaline and obviously great feelings that I've been experiencing with uh, the closest closest people in my life and um, tried to sleep but I couldn't sleep much. Adrenaline has settled in a little bit now um, and uh, but it still it still feels feels great. I'm obviously very very fulfilled and happy and, and joyful to to be holding this trophy again. You know, people doubted me always and they will doubt me and you know, it's, it's I, I don't think everyone shares the opinion of, of certain individuals, but, you know, there are people that will always doubt you and that's fine. They will always question anything I say or anything I do and, and that's fine. I, I just accept the fact that I can't, uh, uh, you know, please everyone or be, be someone's favorite tennis player and someone will always look for negatives in anything I do or say. And that's okay. I just, it does it frustrate me? Uh, of course, of course it does. I mean, I have feelings like anybody else and I'm, you know, I don't enjoy when someone, you know, judges or criticizes and, you know, uh, uh, behaves unfairly, I think, you know, before checking certain things and going out in, in public like that. But at the same time, I, I, I accept the fact that everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Thank you. Um, Novak, obviously there's, you've had quite an opinion on vaccines in the past. If they were to say next year that it's compulsory, that you have to have a vaccination to come back and compete in the Australian Open next year, is that something you'd be willing to do? Well, let's see what, what happens. I mean, uh, there's been a lot of discussions about that, but uh, nothing is yet concretely, um, you know, said about that or there are there aren't any um, regulations or rules in place from ATP or from slams. So I'm just going to wait and see. I mean, right now it's, it's all a, a debate and it's, it's all in the air. So I don't want to make any, any comment about anything that is not yet concrete. But would you consider it? I think I answered your question. Look, I've said it before that obviously majors, especially at this stage of my career, are the, the, the most important events and the, the tournaments where I want to peak and play my best. So, of course, I will um, adjust my calendar and my schedule so that I could play my best tennis at, at majors. Um, I, I feel age is just a number, so I, I, don't, I don't feel tired, I don't feel... Um, exhausted from playing tennis, competing at the, at the highest level. I know al also that realistically things are not the same as they were 10 years ago in terms of energy and, 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 and biology and everything, but uh, I, I feel like I, I still have a lot of gas in me and I, I will, <clears throat> but I will have to be wiser and smarter with my scheduling uh, in order to save and, and use and direct the energy uh, into the tournaments that matter the most. So, you know, hopefully I'll be able to, to win more majors. I mean, that's something that I'll definitely uh, look forward to as a priority.